What's up guys, welcome back to yet another LumaFusion tutorial and today we're gonna make this. So once you find the two desired clips that you want to transition the uh, whip or pan effect from and to, you go to the center of those two clips and you go 10 frames to the left and make a cut and 10 frames to the right and make a cut. The reason why we make 10 frames is it because then it's easier to adjust the length of the whip pan effect and you can do it like I'm doing it or if you want to make the whip pan go slower and want, want it to be longer you have the option to do that as well but in this video I'm going to show you uh, a really simple and fast way to do it so this won't be like a very difficult tutorial it's super easy to to make this and I haven't seen anyone making this tutorial before so I guess I'll be the first one to make this one, so don't forget to share this video with uh, everyone that's using LumaFusion or if you have someone that's into movie making or filmmaking or just to put something together, uh, make sure to uh, share this video so they can learn how to make this effect as well. So once you're done making the 10 frames, you click on the first clip and you get into edit. Then you make a keyframe at the middle of the clip and you make one at the end of the clip. And the keyframe on the end of the clip, you're gonna change the size X to maximum and you're gonna drag the clip, the entire clip to either left or right, depending on which way you want the whip or pan effect to be. So once you're done with that, you go over to color and effects and you apply swish three make a keyframe in the middle again and then you make one at the end of the clip and on the first keyframe in the middle you're gonna scale everything down to zero and you go to the last keyframe and you're gonna max everything out then you repeat this on the second clip as well so make a keyframe at the beginning then you go to the center of the clip and you make another keyframe on the first keyframe at the beginning you scale the size X out to maximum and drag it the opposite direction and then you go to the keyframe in the middle and you scale everything back to normal and you do the same with the swish 3 effect once you're done with that the clip will look something like this that looks pretty good so far so let's see if we can do any adjustments i'm gonna make one more keyframe here and move the clip a little bit here we have the whip effect which looks awesome even though you make it in LumaFusion and you make it this fast it looks pretty cool so we're done with the clip let's add a sound effect to the transition as well and you can see that it sounds a lot better and looks a lot better right away so once you're done applying your sound effect to your transition you're basically done and if you want to do a pan effect instead of a whip effect so what you do is you change the swish 3 effect to uh, vertical instead of horizontal and this will apply a really nice smooth pan effect to your footage as you can see here and this looks in my opinion looks even better than the whip effect So that's everything for today guys, this is how easy it is to make this super cool whip pan effect in LumaFusion. I'm gonna go more over to Premiere Pro now as well. So you will have some LumaFusion tutorials and you will have some Premiere Pro tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and uh, if you found this helpful and if you enjoy what I do, please consider making a donation. The uh, link is in the description below comment below what's your thoughts about this with pan effect in LumaFusion is it good enough uh, can you use it in um, in a movie I want to I want to see what you what you guys think so please comment below what you think give this video a big thumbs up notifications on and 
type I smash that notification bell if you want a shout out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Yeah.